Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Play 60 Seconds Remastered. I think we set a new record for longest survival. <laughs> 78 days. It was it was around there. Um But it was we were on survival rations. But you know, I, I feel like we did kinda we had a better strat that time than previous. I'm thinking as Ted, we take one individual with us and as many supplies as possible until we get better. So Timmy, are you the lucky man today? I'm gonna be honest. Thinking that's a not really, but you are the closest, so we'll probably give it a shot. <laughs> what happened on the last one? Well, honestly, like, I feel we would have probably been more fine. You know, she's right here. I, I don't want to be the person to try to justify why we didn't take her when she's standing literally right next to the shelter. You, on the other hand, I'm sorry to say... Um, look, I don't have a good reason except for the fact that... Everybody's hungry in today's workaday world. You're gonna need this briefcase. The next thing I would love to see, quite honestly... Oh, the gas mask is huge. First aid kit is very nice. More water and food, always helpful. Just be cool, we only got 15 seconds left. Grab some food, grab some water, grab some food, grab some food. I would love to take a radio. I don't think we're going to be able to take a radio. We might be able to grab the gun. Grab it! He's made it! <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Mary Jane. Look, you should have been standing closer to the shelter. It's not a big deal. You had a mud pie, you used too small a slice, and now my shelter's absolutely fine. Okay, so we got decent amounts of everything. No radio's bad. But there was a radio in the shelter to start with. We got great supplies. We started with cards, we started with a radio. Lots of food, lots of water. What? So what was my complaint about last time? Well, I honestly feel like we got a little screwed by Ted not surviving that first expedition. If he had survived the expedition, I think we would have been totally fine. Uh, we would have been better at least. So we're sending Ted tomorrow and uh, yeah. Play, go ahead and play with some trading cards. Just so well, playing cards. There's a difference. Just keep yourself frosty. On excursion one, everybody gets to drink. Ted, take a little soup can because you're going to be gone a while. Ted, you're going. You're taking a briefcase. You're taking a gas mask. And because of what we're giving you, I'm expecting you to come back with some serious loot, okay? What do we want right now? A flashlight would be nice. That's all, I, all I'm really concerned about at the present moment, to be honest. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh, come on. We took the two things that can help us against the puddle to keep Ted safe. Don't get sick. Don't get sick on day five. Thank you. Okay, you're very nice. I appreciate it. Everything's going hunky-dory. We were discussing our first meal... When we heard yells outside, we discovered they came from a group of ragged survivors. They asked us to provide anything we could. I'll give you one soup can, okay? I'm hoping it'll pay it forward at some point in the future. I don't know if it's ever happened that way, but I'm willing to- Oh, they gave us a map! As far as I'm concerned, a very acceptable trade. They offered us a map of the local area. They claimed it helped them get here, so it brought luck on whoever used it. Love to see it. Probably a pretty fair trade. What's that sound? A galloping horse? It's the Monty Python event. And for once, we actually have a map in order to give them uh, some insight. And the map is still here. They gave us some ammunition. You'll love to see it. Y'all are hungry? You wait. Nah. Seventh day, you eat. Let's go. And we've already survived a week. Father? No father. Don't die on the first expedition carrying our most prized loot. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know. He offered us a card game for a bet for a bet of two water bottles. I I cannot do this. I'm sorry to tell you. I refuse. Father's returned. Gas mask is broken. What you, what the heck did you get? 
One soup can? You got one soup can? I gave you a, a staggering amount of resources. Area is still irradiated. I do not wish to go out. Our map slid off the wall. Shall we check what's behind it? Absolutely. I'm very disappointed in you, Ted. That was a that was a bad excursion. Find some soup? Oh, we found a harmonica. Okay. Everybody's still hungry. You get to eat. Is everybody thirsty? I think just Ted's thirsty. Yeah. We're still doing fine. And on day 10, we at least do have access to a lot of supplies. We got the radio handled. Everything's okay right now. Spirits are at an all-time high. Everyone's doing great. Nobody has any status effects, I think. We will prepare for an expedition. Sans gas mask is a little dangerous, but uh, it is what it is. And this should make contact with the survivors of Hill Valley. Really whipping through these early days. Okay, we met Hill Valley. Dolores is thirsty. Timmy's thirsty. An expedition has to be performed. We're going to send Dolores this time, which to me means Dolores also gets to eat one quarter of a soup can. Dolores, you're going out there, and we're having you... Oh, the briefcase is broken, right? All right, you're, you're bringing... Bring the map. Maybe you can uh, Maybe you can use the map to find some better supplies. What do we need? Food and water, really. We're starting to get a little low. And the radio's coming back on. Objectives, as of right now, just await further instructions. We got a Boy Scout handbook, somehow. Oh, some friendly soul was talking about a supply book, or a supply drop. Two water bottles, a soup can. And uh, the Boy Scout handbook. And everybody's doing fine. That's a, that's a really nice uh, supply. Ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door. Should it even be here? Where does it lead? Let's use the gun. I would really like to get a flashlight. Flashlight plus cards equals the military could save us. The door? Oh. When the smoke was gone, we were able to our assess our operation. The room was empty. We barely dodged one ricochet gone bad. Timmy is hungry and thirsty. Probably feeding you a little bit too much, to be honest. But I know there's a ratio. It's like water every four days, food every eight. I'm feeding on hungry while supplies last, okay? And always water on thirsty is my current opinion. Mom returning? Not returning. We can't fail an expedition this early and, and hope to survive. Everybody's love in life. A group of people dressed in pajamas have knocked on our door. This is where you assess. Are we the poor or the rich? I feel like we're still kind of the rich. I, I refuse to let them in. We got like one of everything. Mom has returned. She is radiation sick, but hey, that's what the first aid kit was here for. She returned with another map. Oh, the map she brought. That makes sense. Two water bottles, one board game, and a vehicle spotted just down the street. Hungry, tired, sick, thirsty. You don't eat on hungry yet. You're hungry. You get to, you get to eat. I feel like we still will give her first aid. Why not? Is day eight. Maybe it's safe. We won't know until we go out. Let's wait for a day or two. Um, to be honest, we could use a food. I really don't want to give up the cards because we could use them for the military to save us. So I think I'm just going to let it ride today. But it's, it's a bit of a spicy choice. One can of soup does buy us a lot of survival with three people. Okay. Hungry, thirsty, no longer thirsty, but hungry. Today, everybody can eat, I think. So remember, day 27. <laughs> Let's say day 26 is the next, that's the next food drop. Day 26. Expedition. 
A trip could be risky, but we could really use the supplies. All right, let's plan. Can Timmy even read? Up there, he at least consumed a comic book or two. Now we need to give him something to read. Luckily, we do have a book. That should be the best outcome, right? We got the exact material required. Did he just create a bunch of water for us? No. He might even learn a thing or two. Ted's good. Dolores could use some more food. Timmy, very good. You guys don't eat yet. Okay, Timmy, you eat. You know why? Because you're going out into the wilds. What are you bringing? And I didn't bring the Boy Scout handbook with you. Hey, you know what? Let's bring the map. The map worked really well last time. And if you succeed, everybody will have gone on one successful expedition up to this point. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Look, I know I said day 26, but they've been hungry for a while. Today we were paid a visit by a young man worried about his twin sister. He asked that we come to his aid and really good things might happen to us if we succeed. All right, Ted, I'm sending you out. Dolores is doing A-OK -okay by herself. Timmy will be back. He can be the man of the house if necessary. Okay. Turns out the bandit leader is actually their father. Crazy small world. Anyway, they were really thankful and promised to contact us again soon. Okay, okay, okay. You love to see it. We're getting there. Thirsty, thirsty. Welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific location. We need a map. When I give them the flashlight, they ask for the flashlight. When I get rid of the cards, they ask for the cards. When I use the map for an expedition, they want the map. It's an unfair world, brother. We don't need water. I know we probably don't need a board game either, but more than anything else, we need food. Food is getting real, real tight, real tight to the vest. Ted and Dolores are both fine. During our latest expedition, we ran into a smelly man. It's old Jim. He wants to know if we want to buy a rock. I will always purchase rock. Timmy has returned. He brought a lot of soup. He brought the map back. He brought food. He brought water. And the vehicle down the street is broken down. Okay, hold on. Timmy, hungry. You get to eat. Fatigued, thirsty, thirsty, hungry. Thirsty people get to drink. Hungry people don't get to eat just yet. Today was an exciting day. He found car keys in his back pocket. Anyway, it got him reminiscing about his favorite automobile, and now he's worried about it being parked too long. Ted seems really eager to go out and turn the engine over. I've never seen this event, so let's give it a try. I heard some tinkering. Ted is probably deceased. <laughs> Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Okay. Dolores is hungry. Timmy's... Hungry as well. You know what? Why don't you get yourself a little something, something. A little, little can of soup for you today. You did good, kid. You did good. The trash can is becoming full of empty soup cans. That's where you use the Boy Scout handbook. And clear it out. Theodore? Have you he has not returned it yet. Timmy is hungry. You get one more quarter can, my son. Timmy noticed his old telescope and a pile of rubble on the other side of the street. He got really excited. Should we let him go out and stare pointlessly at the sky? I'm going to hit you with a no on this one, Timmy. I'm sorry. To, I don't know. You might be able to see something that will get us rescued, but I do also feel like you got a pretty good chance for, like, radiation sickness. So I apologize on that one. Water is all Dolores wants. Water is all Dolores is going to get. It's a, been a few days since Ted went to look for his car. Should maybe he got into some trouble? Should we take a peek outside? We will we'll take a look, okay? He's returned. He's back! And no worse for wear? He's back with two soup cans. Ted found something alright, but it wasn't his car. He stumbled across a barbecue party. We recognized some faces, so they all looked a bit peculiar. Gas mask, goggles, spikes, and lots of leather. Was this a costume party? Anyway. He got two cans of soup. Somehow his stomach is rumbling. Thirsty, I get it. He seems a little hungover. Um, hungry doesn't make sense. He just came from a barbecue, dude. I don't think we're going to prepare for an expedition today. But I think in a couple days, yes. Here's the thing. I'm not giving you a can of soup. 
for Sharikov. Sharikov sealed our fate last time. He's cute as a button, but he's a big risk. Ted is still mighty tired. Dolores is not eating for a while. Timmy's tired. So you know what? We're going to go one more day without an expedition. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that appears to be hiding in one of the pipes. I don't think I've ever used the gun for this one. Let's try it. Please do not get hurt because we have no medicine for you. Everyone's feeling okay? We did lose the gun. The Lord Timmy's good? No, he's still fatigued. Fatigued, thirsty, tired. Tired and fatigued. Okay, Timmy, you're going out into the wilderness, I think. If I can... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Timmy, you're going out tomorrow, okay? So prepare yourself. The twin siblings contacted us again. Today they visited our humble shelter saying they're looking for a map. You may have a map. I'm hoping this will lead to us eventually becoming part of their band of survivors. And it's a way out of this situation. We gave them the map and we got a map. <laughs> oh, we let them look at our map and then they returned it. Okay. Ted is still mighty tired. Both of y'all are thirsty. You also get another quarter can of soup because you're going out today. Timmy, what do you take? I'm not I'm not giving you anything this time, because apparently if I give you something, that's what uh That's what the military decides they want from us in order to confirm our existence. But our rations are looking good. Maybe better than ever for, for 30 days of being in here. These are dire circumstances. We know for a fact that one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door. Last time, this event did very well for us. We got four cans of soup. This time, what'd we get? A flashlight? Let's go! You love to see it. Thirsty, hungry? You get some water. No food quite yet. We received another message from the government. This is why you don't give Timmy the map. We have gone on the map and the military hopefully is a step closer to rescuing us. I think we're playing by all the rules right now. Await further instructions from the military. I've never seen this many check marks. A glance at the map gave us all the information we needed. We left them a message in a bottle. Ted needs water and is hungry. You get food tomorrow. Dolores gets it today. We heard a growl in the darkness. Growl in the darkness is dog event. We use the flashlight. We go a zip zip. He runs away, but he comes back maybe later. We can give him a soup can. Ted isn't hungry. Ted is hungry, but not thirsty. Enjoy. The radio of ours has been silent. We need our news. We need our music. We agree that if it's refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it. Probably shouldn't, but it sounds like it's working. Not broken. Not broken. Great news. We did what we could. Ted is hungry. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. You get to wait one more day for food, Ted. You'll give a gun for a handbook and gas masks for cards. I think we are okay on weapons, believe it or not, because we have uh, an axe and we have a padlock to protect us from bandits once. A gas mask for cards. Go ahead and give me that. I don't think we're going to need cards for the military anymore. And I think the gas mask can protect us from illness. So I, I support this. Ted is hungry and thirsty. Thirsty it gets handled right away. Hungry, you wait a day. Sometimes more. Never huge fans of mushrooms. That includes today. Timmy's returned. Timmy, what'd you bring, brother? He's not ill. That's great news. We got so much water. He came back with three bottles of water, but our trip to the surface might have been spotted. You're hungry. Eat up. You did great, kid. You did great as well. Thirsty? Any thirst involved? No. So I think we're just going to lay low for a bit. The situation is simple. We're bored. It's too quiet and we're desperately craving entertainment. The solution also seems simple. Somebody could give our old harmonica a spin, but who's best suited? A decision has to be made. Boomers love to play the harmonica. Got down in the bunker. Everybody's happy? Everybody's happy. Timmy should eat something. 
Timmy needs to drink. Dolores needs to drink. Ted's love and life. Drink up. Drink up. No. How could I not give the dog a can of soup? We're not going on an expedition. I gotta give this dog a can of soup, dude. I gotta see how, if we get anything out of it. Except for minus one soup can. The dog was back to his former self. We decided the dog needed a name. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Didn't get much out of it, to be honest. Timmy's hungry still. Dolores, doing fine. Really running out of soup. But going outside, very risky. Hey, we came across a few markings that were not original on our map. Someone has added a pointer to a location near us. Okay, Dolores, please go out there. I We, we got to take some desperate decisions here. We just gave up a soup can to a dog. We got two soup cans out of it. Let's go. <laughs> Dolores, still crushing it, by the way. Timmy, you're eating like every day. Can you just chill out a little bit? We finally got a good look at the vehicle. It's a tank. No wheels, but it was reinforced with wooden spikes. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna go out there with the map, because I think we've used the map enough. Maybe... This is... And we... It's broken? The map broke? Yes, okay. <laughs> we visited a centuries-old battlefield and pushed an antique cannon all the way back to the vehicle we found. All right. There were some injuries, though. Ted is hurt. Only Ted. Only Ted is hurt. That's okay. Ted, eat something. You thirsty, too? No. Go ahead. Go ahead. A band of thugs is taking control of the area. Bandits are at the door. It's time to make a stand or surrender. This is what you use the padlock for. We put it here for a reason. We lost our padlock. Where's water when Ted needs it? A lot, a lot of tired individuals here. But otherwise doing okay on supplies. Cannot do an expedition. We stumbled across a weird signal. We should probably listen to it, but what about the children? Go ahead and listen to it. They'll probably tell you where there's 75 cans of soup stored. We couldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> Everybody, I, nobody's using rations right now. That's positive. Nobody can go out on an expedition. Government message inbound. They said they need us to find a high point near our shelter and make some noise. This is why you bring the John Popper Blues Traveler harmonica down to the shelter with you. And it, it lived. Look at this. Await further instructions from the military. Ted's wounds are not a pretty sight. Dolores needs water. Timmy needs water. It's all right. Supplies are okay. No expeditions possible. A man wants to be our friend. He says he'll help us fight off the bandits if we give him something. You, sir, have provided a very valuable resource in the past. You may have one of our Dasanis. I'm saving the Fiji, though. Minus one water bottle. Ted's not having a great time. These two are a little hungry, but they can wait a day. Timmy can go out on an expedition. Let's wait one more day. Someone is trying to break in. This is where we're going to roll the harmonica dice. We just used the harmonica. We're selling high. They lowered their weapons and cried a few tears, surprised by the beauty of our music. It's beautiful. Okay. Ted's in agony. This is a really bad sign. <laughs> but we're going to prepare for a Timmy expedition. Pancake's back at the door. He had come back but wasn't willing to enter. He seemed very anxious to lead us somewhere. Shall we grab any gear before we head out? Bring the axe? See what we can get out of this. Pancake. Finally proving useful. We got, apparently... Just four water bottles. That's unbelievable. Okay. Timmy is going out. That means you get a soup can. Prepare for your long journey. 
You really need to bring some first aid with you. Uh, I'm like... He's supposed to be careful when he goes out. Why don't you bring the axe with you, brother? Maybe you can fight off the bandits. Day 50. On what is proving to be a pretty successful run so far. Ted still lives. Has not succumbed to his injuries. Ted may eat a little. Ted may drink a little. During the night, we heard suspicious sounds. When we peeked, we saw a leather suitcase. Shall we open it? Desperate times call for desperate measures, brother. Please have some medicine. Some antibiotics. He's dead. <laughs> but we did get a soup can. And I love how it said things are relatively calm for Dolores. No, I will not trade you food for Sharikov. Yeah, her husband died of uh, tetanus, but relatively calm day, all things considered. Dolores, a little thirsty. Group of thugs at the door. Hit him with the harmonica again. If it fails, we should still have the bandits backing us up. Or the, the anti-bandits. Seems we have lost our harmonica today, but that's okay. The attackers ran away. Dolores gets a quarter of a soup can. Pancake came back, but he's badly wounded. We don't have any medicine. My hero. We buried Pancake next to the shelter. We had a thought about eating him, but there are some lines you do not cross. Amen. Um, we're going to trade our checkerboard for a gun, because this could probably be used to keep bandits at bay for the time being. Timmy's returned with many soup cans. He Okay, no, 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 that's fine. Timmy's come back. One soup, one water. One checkerboard, but no axe. That's still really good. <laughs> he came back with the very thing we sent him out with. Except for the axe. Almost certain there's bandits about? No thank you. Our ammunition is missing. Please do not lose the flashlight to get the ammunition, but still. Dude, this is going really well. We got the ammo back. You love to see it. The flashlight's still working. We also found a deck of playing cards. And Timmy... A little hungry, a little thirsty. You did great. Some commotion. Let's not go out. Another group of bandits. This is where you use the gun. There was a reason we, we traded for that. And the gun still functions. You love to see it. We did lose the ammo, though. Timmy's still a little hungry. Timmy, I gotta be honest with you, brother. I think you gotta wait a day on that one. Bandits running around. There's another message from the military. Send one person out to meet them. Dolores, save this family. We managed to make it to the meeting. Let's hope we fulfilled their expectations. You love to see it. Band of thugs, let's, let's wait it out. We remembered it's Timmy's birthday. Let's get him something every boy wants. You can have a checkerboard. You can you can play checkers against your mom. Who doesn't? This is the greatest birthday gift any boy could ever ask for. Keep him morale high. Timmy needs some water. That's fine. That's fine, dude. Almost certain there's bandits. I will not go out. When conducting our daily supply count, count we noticed a soup can was missing. I'm going to accuse Timmy of eating this dang soup can, dude. He's, it's always Timmy. Ooh. He doesn't look too happy. <laughs> it was Timmy. Hands to yourself, sneak thief. He got minus one soup can. Dolores is a little peckish. We're probably going to send her out on a mission, so... Might wait one more day. Bandits are back. You brandish the gun. Day 61, the gun is broken. We still have one more stopgap to protect us from the bandits. Dude, Timmy's good to go. I think we should send him out on a mission. You will give us water. We don't need water, so I'm going to hit you with the hard pass on that one and wait for the military to save us. I think, I think we're angling for a victory here, and I'm being 100% sincere. Dolores is no longer thirsty. That's good. We do need some cans. 
Timmy, you're going out. You're bringing nothing with you, okay? Just fill up your hands with soup from the local grocery store. I beg you. Dolores is fine and well. A little fatigued. We noticed some drawings on a half-ruined wall. It was a crude map of our town, and one place was marked with an X. Maybe it's a secret stash of soup. She returned? Did she return? It's not soup! Someone must have found it first. That's okay. Uh-oh, a group of thugs. We can't do anything, but we have the the forearm dudes. They're gonna save us, but we're now on... We got no uh, safeguards. <laughs> the mutant forced them away. Okay. Dolores, quarter of a soup can. Someone's at the door. We can't hear what they're saying. Open it. It could be the military. It's getting desperate. Oh, that seems bad. We opened the door. We were beaten up, tied up, forced to watch a band of raiders plunder our home. We've lost everything. <laughs> okay, well, you gotta go to the neighbor's house, try to steal something. We've, we've been quite literally cleaned out. We got ammo. That's not that helpful. Timmy has not returned. <sighs> okay. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure the best case scenario is to send Dolores out. And probably the entire place will be taken over by bandits while we're gone. But it's going to be taken over by bandits if she's here as well. So um, we might as well give it a try. You can take all of the nothings we have with you. That seems bad. Hope she found some water out there. She made it back! What? She came back with soup, water, ammo, bug spray, and a briefcase? And she's no longer thirsty. What the heck just happened? Heavy knocking at the door? Open it, dude. That's... Those are military knocks. Good? Good? Let's go! <laughs> Safe at last, the military came to our rescue and took us away. It was our home, but we can't say we'll miss it. Look at that. 76 days in the shelter. Successful mission. Okay. There were ups, there were downs. Never forget Dolores' incredible raid at the end of the adventure to completely save it. You were a hero. That was a great episode. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya!